What is good, Foundation Nation? Welcome back to yet another Slap Trivia Christmas Edition. No. All right, so basically how this is going to work. What about um, Chris Christmas Subtraction? That's my bad. How this is going to work is I have 20 questions here. I'll be asking each of them 10 questions. Each question that you get incorrect so many will be a slap from your opponent. That's 10 possible slaps. 10 possible Pretty slaps. Much 10 each. Times we also, change. 10 <laughs> possible points. Whoever has the most points win one point per question. I don't care about the points. I just don't want to get slapped. Um, this game scares me so much. Who would like to go first? I'll go first. Trevor's going first. Trevor, your first question. You can't do that. In total, uh -huh. we also are going to implement just a, like, a gut timer. Like, okay. if I feel like you've taken too much Okay, yeah, if it's right. like they don't know what it is, then yeah. yeah move I like on. that. I or some that. some questions will require slight math. Okay. If you take an obscene amount of time. I feel uh -huh. like it's math. <laughs> <laughs> I just said a semen. In total, how many gifts were given in the 12 days of Christmas? <laughs> oh, like in total. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's, it's just me, right? It's just Trevor. Okay, yeah. I don't know what Connor's doing. Seventy-eight. You may slap him. For what? real? The correct answer is three hundred and sixty-four. On the twelfth day of Christmas, they gave him twelve, eleven, oh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Time. I was just adding. Up. That was the one I was doing I'm the math for before. I was like, this doesn't that make any sense. That would have taken so long. I'm very long glad you did math. I'll warm it up so it's not as bad. Okay. I hate being the slapper as well. It's okay. I hate every part of this game. You I don't enjoy it. You set the standard here, by the way. Yeah, I know, and I'm gonna be like, uh. I was adding, I literally <laughs> did one plus two plus three plus yeah, four. Yeah, I did the same thing. Wow, that was weak. I'm, I'm scared of it. That was weak. It's all right. Trevor will probably set the standard. Which fairy tale served as an inspiration for the first gingerbread houses? That's interesting. That's a good question. Bruh. Uh, Hansel and Gretel. Correct. Yeah. Woo! That's good. I would probably, I would probably guess that or Little Red Riding, Riding Hood. <laughs> I'm eating. Yeah. I'm one point to Trevor. One point to Little Red, no. Little Red Vibing Hood. All right, back to Trevor. <laughs> back, back to Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> Lil, We're two questions Lil, in. Little Red Vibing Hood. <laughs> Go ahead. Trevor, why are Christmas candy canes red and white in color? At church, they told us it was to represent our sin and it being washed away. But that's probably not historically why they were invented. Is that what you're locking in? Yeah. That is correct. Okay. Oh, so that is actually why they were invented. The white of the cane represents the purity of Jesus Christ, and the red stripes, okay. on the other hand, are for wow, the blood okay. he shed when he died on the cross. Amen. Fair enough. Okay. I thought the same thing. I was like, this is like, everyone's going to know the churchy <laughs> answer, and no one's going to know if that's the right answer. I that was the right answer. Guessed. Which country does eggnog? A Christmas drink originate from? Oh, quite a few guesses for that. Oh. It's definitely English. Nog? I have a spot of nog in it. <laughs> it's England, a country? <laughs> England. England? Final answer? Yes. <laughs> There's no way. That is correct. No way! It two sounds English. Oh my gosh, you're goaded, bro. Connor's <laughs> got two, Trevor has one. Frick! Down the line. I, that, my asking if England was a country was a real question. I it is a country. Yeah. Now, it's Trevor. part of Great Britain. Which country is known to have a tradition of a witch dropping gifts for children through the chimney at Christmas? Oh, dude, that's Germany. Sounds very German. Germany. Locking in? Yeah. It's not Incorrect. Slap him. Not you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That that was a better one. I, I approve so that. The correct answer. Ah! The correct answer was Italy. Stupid Italian. Connor, in 1979, women's groups, pol politicians, and seniors' organizations protested which Christmas song? Um, baby, it's cold outside. That was a lot later. That was 79. Mm -hmm. That was like last. Are week. we locked in? But it could be. I'm locking in, baby. It's cold. Incorrect. Outside. It was Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I can't. Ah! I'm so scared of it. I'm so ah! scared of it. Boss. The seniors' organizations protested the song. That makes sense. So. Stupid. All right. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> no. That was weak. That was, no, no, that was, was good. It was good. Fingers. That's right. Yeah, but you got it right one, here. The first one's a warm up. Trevor. Yeah, that was good. I now I'm like not gonna be as shocked by it. Trevor. Yeah. Next question here okay. for you. These are fun questions. So what do are. Swedish children leave for Santa Claus? Strudel. Final answer. Swedish fish. <laughs> Incorrect. Mm, that's a good guess. Slap them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. 
pick. <laughs> Correct answer was coffee for in, in case he's feeling tired from delivering all the presents. Connor. <laughs> in early illustrations of Santa Claus, what is he often seen holding? A gat. A lantern. That's your final answer? Please don't. <laughs> Uh, what is Santa Claus often seen holding? I mean, you said his answer. I don't I'm going to say lantern. I've given you a, every lantern. time I give you a chance lantern. to lock in. Lantern, lock in. Man, man, and lantern. Slap him. Dude, get your hands down. Oh, you God. Your I, head. Waited, I, no. I, I waited for it. I got it. Okay, I I got it. okay, okay. okay. Oh, my Everyone God. calm down. <laughs> Correct answer was a birch rod. <laughs> a what? A birch rod. What is a... <laughs> Birch Who's rod? A birch is a tree. Who's rod? Oh, birch. I know what birch is, but what? Said birch. A rod. That doesn't make any sense. Why? Trevor, yes. what is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time? Ooh. Elf. Final answer? Yeah. Slap him. It was the Grinch who stole Christmas. Oh, so that was it. So you moved. Weak. You moved. Hey, it's impossible it, not to move. New rule. New rule. Next person that moves gets slapped by me. <laughs> Don't want to get slapped you by me. Don't want to catch me moving. <laughs> Connor. Uh, the Holly and the Ivy lyrics mention red and white. However, they don't mention green at all. Is this true or false? The Holly and the Ivy lyrics? Mm -hmm. They That's mention the red and white. But they don't mention green. Is I don't that know true what or that false? Is. I don't, don't know what the Holly and the Ivy. Big. I don't I hope I get one. Shh. I don't know what the Holly and the Ivy lyrics are. I'm just gonna say true. True, that is correct. Oh my gosh, That's I was true. not ready. I, I didn't mean to prepare for the next lap. <laughs> Trevor. What? True or false? Reindeer yeah, crap. Nice. The gangster movie that Kevin McAllister watches in Home Alone is a real film. Is it true or false? You got one. You got what you were after, Lord. Shut up. <laughs> I need an answer. True. It's not gonna be true. It was false. Yeah. Wow. I would have. Angels with true. filthy souls was created especially for Home Alone, yeah. but it's based on the 1938 James Cagney movie Angels with Dirty Faces. Oh, well, at least I don't feel completely. You filthy animal. Yeah. Now we're living. Lose the close your eyes. That way you don't. Connor. <laughs> yes, sir. Which Christmas out. song is among America's most disliked? According to 2020 YouGov survey. Disliked. Most disliked. Okay, it's not Rudolph. It's not. That's not it. I don't think. That's a that's a tough one. It's a tough question. I'm trying to think like what song annoys you. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Slap the fire out of this man. It's Santa baby. Oh yeah! Oh, woo! Santa baby, I yeah. like that song. Santa well, baby. wait, never mind. Makes sense. It's a little weird. It's a little annoying. Yeah. As well. um, well, also, it's about a girl seducing Santa Claus. Trevor, put it that way. <laughs> yeah. What is the best-selling Christmas single of all time? <clears throat> all I want for Christmas is you, Mariah Carey. Slap him incorrect. It was White Christmas by Bing Crosby. They've so, mm, sold over a hundred million records around the world according to Guinness World Records. I Bing. think what got you is this modern streaming era. This is most is best selling. Record? Yeah, best selling. Win. Not most streamed. All I Want For Christmas Is You is the most streamed. It's not the best selling. You trickster and you tricked me. I asked, I asked what the best You're selling. a trickster and you tricked me. Connor. Yes, sir. I Which mean, soda hey. manufacturer is thought to have sent ha, thought to have cemented the rosy cheek bearded oh, Santa Claus God. that is associated God, with Christmas bro. today? Coca Cola. How the frick you know? Correct. Nineteen thirty-one. Coca Cola. Yeah, that's everybody knows that. That was an easy one, dude. Hey, don't do not. Coca Cola commissioned that. illustrator Hayden Sundblom to paint an image of Santa for their ads, and has since been the basis of Santa Claus we know today. I was in an antique. It, for all store. intents and purposes, Coca Cola created Santa Claus. What? Where is the biggest Christmas light display in North America? Um, biggest Christmas light display in North America. I don't know if this is true, but I want to say the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center, where they do like the big. Incorrect. Vegas. No, it's actually Christmas Town at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. No I'm way. Going to that. The display I'm boasts more than awesome. displays more than ten million Christmas I'm lights. I'm going to Christmas Town. I've been there before. Two weeks. 
That was a bad one. It, but it stings so bad at this point <laughs> that, that it hurts every my time. hands are cold, so they're like, like rocks. My, my cheek is just red and hurt. Mine is really warm. Mine feels yeah. great. Connor, <laughs> what is the most popular Christmas cookie in the U.S.? I mean, Connor's lighting me up. How many have I done? That's got to be like eight. We're getting Poss close to the end. Most pos popular. I don't know the score at this point. Christmas cookie? I most thought a Christmas, Christmas cookie, cookie was just a... What Christmas. I thought Christmas. What are you cookie? freaking talking about? about? No. Sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. Final yeah. answer. It's incorrect. Slap him. Oh, goodness. Nice. What is it? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. That's not a Christmas. Cookie. Are the most popular Christmas cookie That's followed by sugar? Well, whatever cookie you use Fudge for your Christmas. Fudge and brownies. I would have guessed. Nobody it. uses chocolate chip cookies, cookies for well, a Christmas cookie. A YouGov poll found that chocolate chip cookies are the most popular Christmas yeah, cookies. Yeah, so that's so really, that's conspiracy. Trevor, that was made up by Big Chocolate Chip. Conspiracy, right? Trevor, what? who wrote this article? Hershey. <laughs> <laughs> True or false? Jingle Bells was always a Christmas song. False. Correct answer. Thank true. goodness, like it had to be. The non-classic <laughs> holiday is tune. That so mean. It <laughs> had to been true. Like, the non-classic holiday <laughs> tune, Jingle Bells, was written in the mid 19th century by James Pierpont, while he I experienced think. a bout of homesickness while living in Georgia. Do you know what I jingle heard? Bells, you know what I heard the other day on TikTok? Jingle, the the song "I'll Be Home for Christmas" or no, "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" mm -hmm. with the original lyrics of that song. It was written during World War II. And they were so sad that Judy Garland made them change the lyrics before she sang it because it literally was just insinuating that we're all going to be dead next year, so enjoy your Christmas. Dang. It's sad as crap. Oh my That's gosh. wild. So there's just a little bit of tidbit for you. Connor. Tidbit. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. What if the next question was that? <laughs> Connor. The original lyrics of have... I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, was Christmas ever outlawed in America? Yes or no? No, not in America. Incorrect. Trap, Trevor, Tra Tra Trevor, Tra trap him. Oh, the beard is so much cushion. Ah, I blocked you him. You gotta go high. Yeah, go ahead, try again. come from high down. <laughs> uh, <though> you, <laughs> what if you didn't? What if somebody didn't know what like a slap to the face was? Like they never just understood. Palmed up. And like slap in the face, they just went boom. <laughs> Imagine getting a palm to the jaw. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh! you would bite your tongue off. <laughs> <laughs> Though you may find it surprising, the answer is yes. From 1659 to 1681, the Puritans did not allow Christmas to be celebrated, going so far as to officially outlaw the celebrating, celebrating the date. People were actually fined for what celebrating the Christmas. Puritans? Christmas was des designated a national hol that wasn't designated a national sense. holiday until almost two centuries later in 1870. Was, but why, the Puritans should like the they Christmas. They said it was a pagan holiday. No. I don't know what to tell you, not. man. 1659, 1681. traditions might seem that way. But People were fined. People were literally fined to celebrate Christmas. All right. I'll Trevor. That's right. fine. How many Trevor. questions have left? Uh, y'all each have one question left. I feel like if, I get, I feel like if I get one more. I think y'all might be mighty close to being tied. Might be mighty tied. Close. You know what? Let's go back and let's look at the math here. Yeah. Well, it's 4 2 then. 4 2. So, are we going double or nothing for the last question? We'll go double or nothing for Trevor's last question. So, That's Trevor has a chance to tie it. But Connor, you will still have one more question, meaning you have a chance to take the win. Okay, whose turn? And I'm giving it's Trevor's turn. I'm giving Trevor the tougher of the two questions. I Trevor. I'm numb. I'm completely numb. Mm. How fast does Santa's sleigh have to travel to deliver presents to all the children in the world? Oh my gosh. That might as well be impossible. I mean, I know it, but the speed of light. We're well, going to have to look up the speed of light. <laughs> 670 and million? Wait, yeah, 670 million mm -hmm. miles Incorrect. per hour. Incorrect. Uh, 6 million miles per hour. Factoring the number of children who celebrate Christmas around the world at about 700 million and the total time Santa has due to time differences, 31 hours, Dr. Katie Sheen, a physicist from Exeter University, determined that Santa travels so Which fast that his reindeer break the speed of sound. Yes, yeah, stupid! Slap him. <laughs> Connor, victory lap time. In which country is KFC a Christmas dinner tradition? Oh, I know. China. Nope. Japan. Locked in? Yes, Japan. It is Japan. That's correct. Fascinating thing. In the early 70s, Takesha Okawara, the inter enterprising ma manager of the first Kentucky Fried Chicken in the country, had an idea. After learning that people were seeking out alternatives to turkey for the holiday, he marketed a fried chicken party bucket with the slogan, Kentucky is Christmas. It took off and hasn't slowed down since. Listen to this line. Christmas in Japan now accounts for a third of KFC's annual sales. All right, well, there you have yeah, it. I was going to say that was the best trivia you've ever done until that last question. Connor wins 5-2. I feel robbed. Well done, sir. Thank you.
Thank you. Trevor, that was Merry a chance Christmas. for you to tie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you actually going to KFC? Because I'll come. Okay, we'll go Subway. Oh, okay.